Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome back to another video. And inside of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to optimize Fortnite to get the ultimate FPS and performance out of it after the release of the new Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. In the previous video, I showed you guys the basis of Windows optimization as well as optimizing the Epic Games launcher and some aspects of the game itself. But in today's video, we're gonna be going ahead and focusing more on the game optimization so that you can get the maximum FPS, fix any FPS drops or stutters and lags and even get lower ping in the new Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I would recommend you to pause this video right now. First go ahead and watch that one, apply those tweaks and then come back to this one so that you can go ahead and properly follow along. But without any further ado, let's just dive straight into today's video. So for this video, we are going to be going ahead and using the Fortnite Ultimate FPS Pack 2 which can once again be found on my website. The link will be in the description down below. So once you have it, just go ahead and open it up and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or whatever you want. Once it has been extracted, go ahead and open it up and open up the registry tweaks. Now inside of here, you will find a few registry tweaks, 5 to be exact and all I need you to do is just go ahead and drag them on to the power on 64.exe and it's going to go ahead and ask are you sure, hit yes and then once again go ahead and click on ok. We're gonna be going ahead and doing the same thing for the rest 4 of these. So disable ease of access, once again go ahead and hit yes, hit ok. This registry one is actually more advanced optimization, so you might want to create a system restore point before applying this one. Now how do you do that? You simply go down to your start menu and search for create a restore point. Go ahead and open it up, inside of here select your windows drive, Hit configure, turn on system protection, set the max uses to around 4 or 5%, hit ok, click on create, name it anything, I'm gonna go ahead and name it restore and then click on create and that's basically it. That's how you create a system restore point which you can simply go ahead and use by coming back here, clicking on this system restore button and selecting the restore point that you created. So before applying this registry, just make sure that you do that so if you face any issues, you can always go ahead and revert those back. So now that the system restore point has been successfully created, we can close out of this, hit OK and now drag the reg file onto the power run. Hit yes, hit OK and then for the tweak CS RSS priority, do the same thing and drag it onto the power run, yes, ok and same thing for the tweaked SVC host priority. Uh, once you are done with all of these registry files, I would recommend you to restart your PC but you can even skip that because we are going to be doing that at the end of the video anyways. So go back into the pack and open up the device cleanup. Now inside of here, run the device cleanup.exe as an admin by just right clicking on it and then go ahead and select everything inside of here, click on delete and it's going to delete all of the devices that were once connected to your PC and which are being not used right now. Now, once you have done that, you can go back into the pack and open up the disabled devices. Now inside of here, go ahead and first open up the device manager and then open up the disabled devices text. Now what you need to do is list all of the devices first by connection. So to do that, what you need to do is click on view and then devices by connection. Now inside of here, go ahead and find the name of each of these devices. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and for example, go into the composite bus enumerator. So I know it's somewhere right there. So here it is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it and click on disable device. Now, since I have already disabled it, it's showing me enable device. But for you guys, it will show you disable device. So go ahead and click on that and it should disable the device. Go through this whole list and disable each and every single device that is listed here. Now, the one thing that you should be careful about is the system speakers. So if you have built-in speakers for your monitor or perhaps your system, so what it will do is go ahead and disable those. So if you have no sound and then you should go ahead and enable this one. Otherwise, it's completely safe to disable both of these. But once again, just go ahead and go through this whole list. Disable all of these inside of here by simply right clicking on them and then clicking on the disable device and that should be it. Now, this is the point where I want you to go ahead and restart your PC because we want to make sure that no problems arise from disabling these devices. Even though they are completely safe and have been tested over the years, but I still recommend you to just go ahead and restart your PC and make sure that everything is working correctly. Go back into the pack once more. Inside of here, go into the optimizers. Now for the first one, that is the memory cleaner, just right click on it, run it as administrator, click on agree and it should open up the mem cleaner. Now there is the thing with the timer resolution as well, but I would really not recommend it anymore. But what I want you to do is just go ahead and click on clean memory and then just do it once. Close the program 
and even make sure that it's closed from the taskbar as well. You don't want to keep it running in the background, randomly cleaning memory, because that may cause some harm. Just consider that you're playing a game and you are fighting someone, an opponent inside of the game, and at that crucial moment, the memory cleaner decides to just go ahead and wipe your memory, causing a little hitch which may cost you the game. So that is the reason we are going to be going ahead and closing it from here as well as the taskbar. Now for the MSI Utility V3, just right click on it, run it as administrator, and once this opens up, just go onto the devices that say MSI supported under the supported modes which say MSI just go ahead and check the MSI box for those especially for your graphics card and your audio controller as for the interrupt priority just go ahead and leave it as undefined now I'd know that some people set it too high but undefined is what works best for me and has worked best for many of the others so just leave it at undefined hit apply and then you can close out of the MSI mode utility Go back into the pack once more inside of here and go into the power tweaks this time. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and double click on the power plan import.reg, hit yes, hit ok and now you should see these little battery icons with the .pow files. If you don't, just right click, click refresh and they should be there. Now there are 4 power plans inside of here. One is the Calypto, the other one is the GGOS 0.8.5, the Muran idle enabled as well as the Rec OS power plan. The one that I'm personally using is the Rec OS power plan um, but the rest of these are also also pretty good and one of these may actually give you more performance than request power plan but in general this is the one that I use and I have tested the most so that is why I will be going ahead and using this and all you need to do to use them is just double click on them so for me I'm gonna go ahead and for example double click on the Calypto power plan and now it has been imported and now to apply this I need to go into the start menu and search for power go ahead and click on the edit power plan or choose a power plan whatever you want go into the power options and as you can see now that I have also got the Calypto's low latency power plan but I will still be using my own request power plan so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this going back into the pack once more and opening up the scripts so this one is going to go ahead and disable all of the power saving features on the USB as well as the internet which we actually did kind of do in the previous video but not completely so this script is going to go ahead and completely disable all of the power saving features on our USB devices as well as our network. So right click on it and go ahead and run it with PowerShell. It shouldn't take much of your time and as you can see that it's already done. And then moving on to the disable Najal, this is an algorithm actually. So it's basically going to go ahead and improve your network. So right click on it, run it as administrator. And as you can see that it is made by infinity. So waiting for 3 seconds or press any key to continue and it's basically done. Then for the network CMDs, right click on it, run it as administrator. And then it's going to go ahead and once again run, of, run all of the network tweaks that we had previously run even in the previous video. We are just going to go ahead and do this once again just to make sure that everything is working properly. So once that has been done, you can close out of this. You can even delete the packs if you want. But now the only thing remaining are the Fortnite in-game settings. Which we are going to be going ahead and tackling inside of another video that should be coming soon enough. But for today's video, that's going to be it. If this video helps you in any way, shape or form, then make sure to leave a like down below. So that it can reach more people and help them as well. Make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But with that, I guess this is going to be it and I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.